Nathan Edwards tonight has followed these storms. He joins us from Adair. And Nathan, describe what you're seeing out there. We saw some of the pictures that you just sent in. If you take a look behind me right here, you can see debris is scattered. There's pieces of lumber all over the place here at the Adair Strip Mall here on Main Street. A storm came through and tossed everything around here. And the person who witnessed a, a lot of the storm coming through was the owner of the strip mall, Patty. Patty, what did you experience here conditions wise? Just, it looked like a tornado was touching down. There's an old business across the way. It's not in business anymore, and all the tin and the wood and everything came flying over to our business. Was it, I mean, obviously there's a lot of damage here. What's being done right now to help clean this up and assess the damage? I don't know. The fire department's been here, but I haven't had a chance to talk to them, and we have some roofers coming out to hopefully take care of it and cover it because it's raining in on it. How scary was that experience? You say a lot of the debris came from a building across the street yes. and slammed into your business. Talk about that a little bit. It was just, I can't believe a tornado hit in Adair. I don't think it's ever happened. I've lived here my whole life. So are you you're convinced that it was a tornado yeah, that hit here? What was, makes you say that? It was a funnel cloud. That touched down. I've seen one before that took a house in another town I lived in a long time ago. So that's what it looked like was a tornado. All right. Well, thank you, Patty. Thank you. We'll be tracking down more damage around Mays County coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.